Hello students, I hope you are all fine and in good health. So in my previous audio presentation, I discussed up to this line, there's nothing nice about jail, even in 1894, I discussed up to this. And uh, we get to know that Charlie, the narrator or the protagonist, he decided to move out from that place because he thought that if he stayed there for long, he might be in big trouble. So now let me start from the next paragraph. And that was that. I left the same way I came, I suppose. Now he, he can't remember, but he faintly can recall by saying that he is interacting with us also at the same time. He's saying that I left the place the same way I entered the place. Next day during lunch hour, I drew $300 out of the bank, nearly all we had, and bought old style currency that really worried my psychiatrist friend. Now, uh, the author was very much eager to go back to that different timeline. He was very much eager to visit, uh, I mean, uh, Illinois, Galsburg in Illinois, and he was very much interested to go back to 1890s. So he went to his bank, and after that he withdrew all the savings that he had, almost $300, and then he went to the money exchange office and converted the money, brought old style currency notes that would be helpful for him uh, to travel because the current currency was not acceptable by the ticket counter clerk and he was in big trouble. So he doesn't want to create any more problems for him. So in a well planned manner, at first what he did, he, he drew $300 out of the bank nearly all that he had and after that he bought old currency uh, notes old style currency notes and this thing he later told to his psychiatrist friend see in bracket it is written that really worried my psychiatrist friend you can buy old money at almost any coin dealers but you have to pay a premium yes old money definitely you can purchase but you have to pay a premium my $300 brought less than 200 in old style bills, but I didn't care. That means he made a loss of $100, but it's okay for him because ultimately he wants to visit that place once again. And he wants to go to Galsburg, Illinois. That is the dream place for him. See, but I didn't care. That means uh, $300 that I have gave. Uh, in order to do the currency exchange, it brought less than $200 in old style bills. But it's okay, I didn't care about it. X were 13 cents a dozen in 1894. He did some research regarding uh, the purchase of X and other eatables. And he came to the final conclusion that X were 13 cents a dozen in 1894. So if I, uh, if I take $200 old style currency along with me, making a loss of $100 in the process of doing the money exchange of um, taking the old currency and giving the new currency, it doesn't matter because uh, X were 13 cents a dozen in 1894. So somewhere this way or that way, I can move on with my life. But I have never again, now dear students, I'm moving on to the next paragraph. But I have never again found the corridor that leads to the third level at the Grand Central Railway Station. But with all the necessary pre uh, preparations and precautions, he went once again. Even he changed the, his currencies also and brought old style currency notes. And again, he went to that place. Which place? That you know by this time. Grand Central Railway Station, but to his utter surprise, he haven't uh, discovered the third level, okay, that uh, he went with the hope in his mind that he will again enter the third level of the Grand Central Railway Station, but when he went for the second time, it seems that there is no third level and there is no corridor that previously he went by, now he haven't found that corridor again when he visited for the second time. Although I have tried often enough. Now, not only second time, he went many times later also. He tried many a times later, but he couldn't find the, uh, I mean, the third level. And uh, this was something very much disappointing for him. Lausa was pretty worried when I told her all this. Now, later, 
uh, Charlie or the protagonist of this particular story interacted with Lausa and told her all these things, all these strange things that uh, whatever happened in the third level once he went but um, the next visits were futile on his part because he did the money exchange also currency notes were exchanged by him he made all the precautions and he had taken all the necessary steps with a, a pl well planned manner he visited for the next time but he haven't found the location of the third level he paid some more several visits but every time it turned out to be a failure or futile effort on his part and later he interacted this with his psychiatrist friend also but most importantly he interacted it uh, this with his wife Lausa also and his wife after listening to all these things she was pretty worried so let me continue I'm repeating this line once again dear students Lausa was pretty worried when I told her all this and didn't want me to look for the third level anymore and after a while I stopped now she cautioned me and she was very angry with all my behaviors she told me not to look out for the third level anymore so this line is very important uh, and didn't want me to look for the third level anymore and after a while I stopped and after a while even Charlie also stopped about it about fascinating or about thinking about third level I went back to my stamps remember philately or stamp collection was his hobby and this hobby he had uh, imbibed from his grandfather but now we are both looking every weekend because now we have proof that the third level is still there now my wife strictly warned me not to think about the third level any longer and as a result my source of refuge was stamp collecting so in my leisure hours i used to uh, i mean i used to do a stamp collection i used to go to my office room and i used to look out for the old stamps i used to check out my old stamp collecting library and all those archives and all those but after a certain time me and my wife we both me and my wife we both went on uh, very much uh, thinking deeply about the third level why because there is a reason behind it my friend sam wainer disappeared my friend sam wainer actually sam is the name of his psychiatrist friend for your kind information dear students now he disappeared and we have proof with with us where and which place he went so i repeat my friend sam wainer disappeared nobody knew where but i short of suspected because sam's a city boy and i used to tell him about galsburg I went to school there and he always said he liked the sound of the place and that's where he is all right in 1894 now I am pretty much sure I told him about Galsburg the place where I spent many of my memorable childhood years and I am pretty certain I am pretty sure the place that he went is Galsburg and the I mean the time period is 1894 I'm pretty sure my friend Sam Wainer went to that place only so I'm now moving on to the next paragraph we are at the final climax now of this particular science fiction story the third level now let me continue uh, page number five only the last paragraph of page number five because one night fussing with my stamp collection I found well do you know what a first day cover is when a new stamp is issued stamp collectors buy some and use them to mail envelopes to themselves on the very first day of sale so that they can collect it so in, uh, in, inside the envelope it's a blank paper only they only give their home address so that finally it's it gets delivered to them so that is the importance of a first day cover because those who do stamp collecting they want to collect it so they send a letter to their house only but inside the envelope it uh, I mean, the, there is to be a blank paper nothing as such only the target is to get the stamp cover and if it is given delivered in the home address they can access it from there so that is what been written here when a new stamp is issued stamp collectors buy uh, some and use them to mail envelopes to themselves on the very first day of sale 
and the postmark proves the date obviously uh, the stamp will be given the postmark also will be given so automatically the date will be already it will be stamped on it the envelope is called a first day cover they are never opened as i told you they just put blank paper in the envelope just for the sake of collecting it and inside they nothing is to be written only blank paper the main target is to get the first cover along with the date and everything printed on it or stamped on it. That night among my oldest first day covers, now as you know the author uh, it has uh, become, a, it is his hobby only to go on scrounging his stamp collection archive and all those things. Scrounging means goes on browsing and goes on actually seeing whatever collection he has okay he goes on browsing and all those things or scrounging it so once he was doing exactly that i found one that shouldn't have been there one uh, first day cover he found their envelope that he thought that it shouldn't be there so he got a bit surprised but there it was it was there because someone had mailed it to my grandfather at his home in galsburg so an address has been given the address is uh, given in of Galsburg only and the address belongs to his grandfather's house that was in Galsburg. So the sender has given that address. That what the address on the envelope said. And it had been there since July 18, 1894. The postmark showed that. Yet I didn't remember it at all. The stamp was a 6 cent dull brown with a picture of President Garfield. So the shape of the stamp, the color of the stamp been given, it is dull brown. And uh, obviously the stamp collecting the money of that particular stamp, it is 6 cent. And uh, important thing is that picture of President Garfield has been attached on it. Naturally, when the envelope came to granddad in the mail, it went right into his collection and stayed there because he thought that it is a first day cover. Till I took it out and opened it. But inside the envelope, uh, the paper, paper was not blank. That is most important thing for us to remember. The paper was not blank and it opened it. The paper inside wasn't blank. As I told you, something, uh, a message was written on it. It read. And what is written? See, the address has been given of Charles' granddad's residence. That is 941 Willard Street, Galsburg, Illinois. And look at the date, dear students, July 18, 1894. Charlie, it was written for Charlie. I got to wishing that you were right. Then I got to believing you were right. And Charlie, it's true. I found the third level. So Sam has written this all the way from Galsburg, Illinois, that he was a, his psychiatrist friend. At the very beginning, he thought that Charlie was right. Then after a lot of introspection on his own mind, he later realized that Charlie was totally right. And uh, see this line, I found the third level, then an exclamatory sign has been given. That means he discovered the third level. And for that reason, he has written it to Charlie. I have been uh, here two weeks. Here means in Galsburg, Illinois. Almost 14 days he is here. And right now down the street at the Dallas. Dallas is the name of a pub. Someone is playing a piano. And they are all out on the front porch. Porch means you can say dear students lawn. Singing. Seeing Nelly home. That is a popular tune. We can say popular lyrical tune. And a very popular song also. Sing Nelly home. And I am invited over for lemonade. Come on back Charlie and Lausa. Keep looking till you find the third level. It's worth it, believe me. So their doctor friend or Charlie's doctor friend already. For two weeks now he is in Galsburg, Illinois. And he's enjoying his time there. He's having a very pleasurable moment there. Gala time we can say it is like that. He's enjoying his total... Uh, every each and every moment he is enjoying there and he is listening, listening to the songs in the pub and the song is also very popular seeing Nelly home and uh, someone invited him for a uh, lemonade drink then uh, he was enjoying in the pub the name of the pub is Dally's and all this someone is playing a piano life is very smooth out there 
and it seems that there is a clear indication of of that pleasure and the coziness of life being felt by uh, I mean uh, Charlie's friend Sam so because at the end it is written the note is signed Sam that means at the end of the letter it is written Sam it has been signed by Sam now it is very much clear to Charlie and to his wife Lossa that uh, since Charlie communicated about his strange experience in the third level it seems that Sam had taken the risk and uh, it seems that he went there and he is now staying there at the stamp and coin store I go to I found out that Sam brought $800 worth of old style currency remember in case of Charlie uh, he gave 300 but he got 200 dollars in case of Sam uh, he actually did some money exchange brought old currency almost 800 dollars worth of old style currency that is a very important uh, point dear students 800 dollars that ought to set him ought means supposed to uh, that ought to set him up in a little nice little hay feed and grain business now obviously uh, psychiatry uh, i mean uh, medical uh, he was a psychiatrist so obviously psych uh, i mean uh, psychology or being a psychiatrist was not so much popular during 1894 so he can do a bit of business related with agriculture okay agrarian business and all this so he can actually do that with 800 dollars feed and grain business he always said that's what he really wished he could do and he certainly can't go back to his old business because uh, he was a psychiatrist that was his old profession but in 1894 hardly few people knew about psychiatrist they know about doctors but they they are uh, medical uh, science was not so improved at that time or innovated that they will hear about a psychiatrist so he can't go back to his former profession uh, he can be a prosperous farmer he can do a bit of uh, agriculture agrarian activities so this is and that that is what his friend always liked to do see it is written that ought to set him up in a little nice hay feed and grain business he always said that's what he really wished to he could do and he certainly can't go back to his old business not in galsburg illinois in 1894 his old business why sam was my psychiatrist that is the ultimate twist but now it is clear to us sam was my psychiatrist friend but he can't go back to his old profession because in 1894 hardly few people know about psychology and all this i mean uh, i mean sciences that is related with the human mind human brain and all this so he can't go back to his former profession he can start a new profession that profession can be of a prosperous farmer who is engaged in agrarian activities and all this he can start that profession and uh, by the way sam uh, sam sam is my psychiatrist friend so that we all know it very well previously only so there it ends the story ends there dear students i know it's it became a bit lengthy audio kindly listen to it and uh, uh, if there is any doubt anywhere do let me know about it thank you students thank you all